red line is calculated relationship by Athena using our proposed relationship. It's uh, once more it's very tentative uh, equations and require um, analysis of some, uh, of other elements to 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 to, to consider this as a uh, very very important finding. Here we can uh, see uh, crack patterns, experimental. Uh, of, of this element without fibers, with uh, this element with fibers. They, uh, the beams had the same reinforcement ratio, but different content of fibers. Uh, this is uh, Athena, Athena's modeling results uh, of these beams. As we can see, uh, her, uh, cracking character is, is quite adequate. Okay, and, and practically I, I am finishing. Uh, we can we can uh, say that uh, scaling uh, technique is required only uh, for but before applying bad reinforcement. We can uh, say that uh, shrinkage uh, evaluation procedure is very important if we uh, if we want to compare uh, experimental results of different beams. And uh, some insight for future research. This uh, result results uh, obtained very recently. And I, I only can show you for, for, for thinking. We uh, perform um, series of tests of this kind of sections. Uh, I want to pay your atten attention on, on elements uh, that have three layers of reinforcement. These two elements and these elements. They had uh, the same <coughs> first uh, elements, series of elements had the same reinforcement ratio. Top elements had 1% tensile reinforcement ratio. Uh, second li line had 0.6% reinforcement ratio. And uh, bottom two lines had uh, 0.3% reinforcement. Then uh, we measure moment curvature diagrams and obtain tension stiffening relationship. As you can see, uh, the previous results were had uh, the concrete had uh, any any fiber or not? No, uh, no uh, concrete had uh, some of concrete specimens. This, 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 yeah, uh, this okay. had the the. Uh, very small amount, amount of fibers. This it was our first um, trying to use fiber reinforced concrete, mm -hmm. and uh, we mm, we maximum maximum amount of fibers was 0 0.3. Okay. It's, it, it was very uh, low amount of fiber to make some some result, some, some, to obtain some differences, but we obtain very uh, obvious differences in moment, in the stress state relationship for the beams with three layers of reinforcement. Practically, these uh, elements do, do not possess degradation after mm -hmm. uh, possessing more, uh, some levels these elements do not obtain degradation in tension stiffening. Why? We don't know. We only but they can know. give you an explanation. Okay. Yes. Okay. Then, a series of tests was performed with non-metallic reinforcement. Also, we, uh, two, two of beams had 1% of uh, fibers. And two of the beams uh, 
one had three layers of reinforcement. Uh, one was metallic, uh, another was non-metallic, glass fiber reinforcement. And one more beam was had the same reinforcement ratio, uh, the same uh, ratio of um, effective depth to uh, element depth as this. As you can see, uh, reinforcement was placed at highest level. Then we obtained these results. Uh, I can comment. The red, this red, and this red. Uh, this red uh, diagram had a fibers. Had a fibers in. in uh, and uh, other fibers and non metallic reinforcement. This element, yellow, had three layers of reinforcement non metallic. This, also red, had uh, non metallic reinforcement with the same depth to high height ratio depth to element height ratio. As we can see, these parameters, these parameters is very important to consider in tension stiffening behavior. And one more, as you can see, here we also uh, X line represent coefficient depth. And if, we, if you remember for, for steel reinforcement we obtain maximum 40, for non-metallic reinforcement uh, tension stiffening effect is observed until uh, 180 or 200 uh, values of beta, that is, is very, very high. Uh, to have a time more than the yes. 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 Then we can uh, we can uh, conclude that uh, for non-metallic reinforcement tension stiffening effect has the primary role to predicting deformational response. This uh, diagram show uh, show this diagram show uh, differences in respect to reinforcement. Uh, uh, layers. Uh, these diagrams uh, show uh, effectiveness of fibers. And as we can see, uh, and metallic and non-metallic reinforcement in the range of 40 of beta 40 uh, possess the same stiffness very similar stiffness. Then we can conclude that uh, application of non-metallic reinforcement with fibers is also very effective. Then uh, a few uh, figures uh, in respect to still related tension stiffening model. This, uh, this modeling is, is used in, in, in your university, then I, a lot of uh, comments here do not want to, to, to make. Only, only one comment in respect to, to assumption of uh, model for tensile concrete. Uh, first assumption uh, allows uh, allows all of tension stiffening uh, as, uh, assigned to bar reinforcement. What is advantage? We, this model you can use in any uh, finite element code that allows uh, specifying of material models. The, this model do not require any uh, any standing branch that uh, that is uh, that very complicates uh, calculations. 
for instance, this model was applied in uh, ANSYS that uh, completely do not allow performing any calculation with concrete and we obtained the same results as, 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 as was modeled. And one more, this model is completely uh, completely uh, <clears throat> no any influence of mesh size in this model. Practically, if we reduce the mesh size, we obtain uh, more accurate calculation than the top. It's, it's quite, uh, quite good model. This model, the uh, question is what the ultimate uh, strength at the diagram? What, what the part of tension softening? It's, it's very, it's quite, quite, quite no question. Mm -hmm. And this model that also used uh, in your mm -hmm. in your institution, uh, it can be used. Uh, it's, it can be used. It's, it's also good as, because actually concrete uh, have uh, some have some portion of, of, of tensile strength and. and it, I, I think it's quite an objective model. Then uh, I will show you uh, calculation results by inverse procedure for these three beams. Two of them has uh, 1.3% uh, of the, uh, longitudinal reinforcement ratio. This beam has 1% of reinforcement ratio. These two beams uh, are twin beams. Then we obtain, uh, this is from moment curvature diagrams, we uh, if we eliminate, eliminate the shrinkage effect and obtain these diagrams in respect to steel then uh, considering only portion of tension stiffening in these diagrams, we can compare these diagrams. As can we see, uh, the tension stiffening stress in, in uh, the beams with high reinforcement was high. But if we uh, explain these uh, diagrams, uh, if we normalize these diagrams as shown here, as uh, ratio between uh, axial force in reinforcement due to tension stiffening uh, in respect to cracking uh, resistance of, of whole section of whole uh, concrete section. Whole. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. <clears throat> then we obtain what practically, independently on the of on the enforcement ratio, uh, this value will not reach uh, twenty five percent and practically was the same for for all bills. If we uh, assume that this is something uh, equivalent to uh, effective area of concrete to to whole concrete area, we can uh, we can think about uh, these sections where analyzed about objectivity of uh, of uh, explaining. Uh, effective area as a function on, of uh, of reinforcement diameter. We obtain practically the same peak stress and practically I think this is the same <coughs> this shows the same effectiveness of, of concrete around the bar. Uh, one, only one difference is uh, fast decreasing 
of tension shifting in, uh, in high reinforcement bars? This is question. Before finishing, I want to invite all, all of you to the conference which held uh, next year in, uh, in Vilnius to, to participate or to, to make a presentation. Thank you for your attention. Okay. 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 Many questions. Go back. Okay. In this Many place. Questions. Back, 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 back. For me, the most. Uh, uh, I want to know if these are experimental uh, values and how, if they are experimental, how do you obtain these values or these curves? Um, this is. We use our inverse technique to obtain from. to calculate. In, to uh, calculate. In, no, my, question is, my question is clear. Are experimental or not? Right. No. They are derived from no. experimental. They, they are derived. They are, but they are not experimental. But you can, uh, you can do not consider this negative no. option as. Because I, I am not talking about these curves, I am talking about all the curves. No, I want to no. know if they, because it is almost impossible to derive experimentally directly these uh, yes, curves. These, these curves depend on the assumptions you make on your material yes. equal yes, to yes. the blocks. Yes, yes. So they are, in a way, they, they are uh, with, with having uh, certain constitutive blocks which you assume. For concrete, for concrete and steel, in com concrete and compressor yes. and steel in tension. If you assume this law as the behavior of concrete and tension, then you get the same uh, uh, moment curvature. Yes, yes, yes. yes. yes but these are the result of the manipulation. Yes, yes, yes. This is very important. This very this important. The same technique for as me, Because for me, uh, numerical studies are very good to understand. Mm -hmm. But I don't want any more to precisely estimate the okay. experimental behavior. Okay. I, I, I lost uh, this ambition. Eh? It is clear for me. And for me, uh, experimental results are the, the reality, and all these things could be good or could be mm -hmm. not good. But these are not. Could you go back? Okay. One, only one. One again. One? One again. One more here. These are the experimental. Yes. yes. So you obtain this measuring two layers, four, four layers. Yes. And the 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 the, the section. Average and, and obtain average curvature in pure bending zone. Yes. So uh, in this zone, you get uh, four layers. Okay, I will, you measure? I, I, I will show I was a little bit late, I'm sorry. Okay, no problem, that's very nice and to, to, to me your interest. This, yes, I understand. So yes. you have this, 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 yes. And this. Yes. yes. Okay, and you measure in this central part and you make uh, average yes. value of this. Mm. And these values are the average. Yes. Those are perfect. Okay. Yes. Perfect, uh, because we average each of each difference. Mm. I can I can show you my mm, Excel worksheet uh, to, to to explain formulas. Okay. But this is uh, very strange to see this very nice plain uh, cross section uh, after cracking or after bending. I uh, don't. If it's, a, if it's an average. I don't. Uh, it might be no cracking. <laughs> it's one. Now it might be no cracking. I I don't. I can't. Uh, but we never obtain this nice. Uh, well, we'll take more Please, or less. More or less. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Please, you can tell us that we were not able to, I, I to can, I, I obtain can. this 
Nine temperatures. Now this is different. I can show I can show all excellent one box sheet. We don't want to lie. We are honest, and we were uh, we we had not in a breach. We were monitoring during more than three years, and we have uh, different sections and different layers and different each other because yes, of yes, a real yes. breach. And I, I don't know if you have seen these uh, uh, results, but never we have this nice. Uh, okay, I will show you how it can be improved because I. Uh, I make average each difference between each of layers. In average, because uh, our model is used average cracking model, uh, as as more average is this would be more um, correct results we will obtain. We can be able to understand. Okay, I'm sorry, I am so... No, no problem. <laughs> Any, anyhow, uh, yes, I understand that you, you obtain uh, the average uh, yes, yes. and then with this value you can obtain uh, yes. the following certain yes. uh, yes. cooking technique. Yes. Uh, you obtain yeah. the, yes. And one more, we also measured uh, with in this in this point, we also measured deflections. Yeah. Okay. It was uh, eight linear uh, transducers, yeah. inductive transducers, yeah. and then we obtain when we obtain two type of diagrams. Dotted diagrams uh, obtained from uh, strain measurements, uh, dashed lines obtained from uh, deflection measurements. So you measure deflections, yes. and then you need to assume from, the curvature from deflection from deflection yeah, yeah. differences in. If you make a, a reverse yes. a technique, how do you say it? Reverse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reverse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. How do you call that? We call it inverse. Inverse. Inverse technique, and so you cannot do this. You cannot then, you, you need to evaluate the curvature uh, to obtain this result. You can, you can actually, what you're doing is. You can integrate the curvatures and get the deflection, yes. or you yes. can yes. derive yes. Yes. from the deflections. You need to uh, uh, have a dis and with the distribution of uh, of uh, the curvatures along the beam, yeah. because this is the second uh, uh, assumption, very important. Uh, if you have to. You have constant amount of curvature. Yeah. You have constant, yeah. but they, they from the deflection you have a deflection here, yes. here. And so you, you need to assume that here you have constant yes. curvature, but here you have a linear distribution of curvature. Mm -hmm. This is uh, something. But, 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 the, but, but the, I, I like I like this I like this uh, idea because you can obtain you are obtaining the same result from two different yes. uh, experimental. Uh, we should we should to, to, to check for yes yes I like that. I like that very much, and we made some small exploration of that uh, technique uh, also. Anyhow, here it is clear that I, 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 here we don't have. I, don't, I want to concentrate myself in this type of uh, elements, mm -hmm. concrete without yes. Uh, yes. Uh, fibers, and it is clear that here, here in you. Assume that the, uh, the um, completely crack uh, stiffness will be a line like more or less like, like this. You see here that the tension stiffening is very important because the, the the quantity of reinforcement is very small. And if you do that uh, here, uh, the tension stiffening is a little bit lower. Uh, a little bit lower. So. This is active. Uh, all those are 0.3. Mm. 
Yes. L lower because. Uh, because much. due to fire. That's, that's I, mean, I can I can say more because if we, we consider a plate, plates, yes, plates, plates, slabs, slabs. Uh, with small amount of reinforcement, yeah. where uh, cracking is sudden, then the uh, tension stiffening effect effect would be m much more uh, than, than this. Yes. This one with no fibers, small effect of tension stiffening. Mm -hmm. but this one is. This is 0 0.3, and this is 1 percent. Yes. Yes, yes. Mm. And, and here you have the fiber. Here you have zero fiber, fiber and this Yes, fiber. this. And you have to convert this yes. with this. Yes, yes, yes. These two elements without fibers, then this and this elements also. Okay. But the same idea. The same idea. But uh, here the, the, the axis, the horizontal axis is a little bit uh, confused because uh, in for this diamond zero is here yes. yes. okay. Okay. okay but this is the idea the idea is when you have less reinforcement you have bigger uh, tension stiffen effect um, well and you have exactly the same according to these results uh, when you have the same quantity of reinforcement if you increase uh, the, the fiber, the fibers in the concrete, because uh, here the tension stiffening is, is, is not true, is true or not true, that works? Uh, because here you have the, because in, in I don't the, have... In this case we don't have negative uh, portion in any case, because the, these elements have a small amount of reinforcement. But what I want to understand now is uh, which is the compensation between the effect of uh, free gauge and the quantity of reinforcement. Because one effect uh, is bigger when the free gauge, free gauge effect is bigger when you have a bigger quantity of uh, radio of uh, reinforcement and uh, Tension stiffening is smaller in that case. Yes, yes. but uh, in and which is the final result? I don't understand. I don't. I, 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 I still don't understand which will be the final figure. The composition between trim cage effect and uh, and uh, the effect of the uh, quantity of uh, the tensile practically. Uh, these diagrams uh, less dependent. Uh, this these diagrams seems like uh, this. But the big time. Like this. Uh, these diagrams is is. Uh, with in, include in, excluding shrinkage effect. Then the diagrams makes uh, close one each other, but but uh, different. I need to digest this diagram. Uh, this is this was another question I want okay. to ask you. Uh, no, 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 no. Go, go here. No, no, left. One back. One more. Back, back. Uh, Back, please. Back. Yes. I understand that you have two different ways mm -hmm. to consider. Uh, two models. Uh, uh, two models. Uh, 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 In this case, you uh, do not. You neglect completely, completely. Yes. Uh, the effect of the tensor concrete. Tensor concrete. Yes. Completely. Completely. Okay. And uh, you take into account uh, uh, the effect of tensile stresses of concrete below the actinic axis, 
and the tension of Tiffany, yes, modify, yes. modify the curve of the steel. The stress, uh, the stress. Compressive concrete, we have assumed that it, it exists. Yes, yes, clear, it is clear. The, the model for the section will be compression follow certain uh, behavior, for example, this one. Yes. And the, the steel yes. has the yes. modified yes. Uh, stress strain curve. Yes. Yes. Uh, and, 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 wait, the, if, you, if you consider uh, uh, the tensile uh, capacity of concrete, yes. you will have uh, this yes. slightly yes. different. Because you can see uh, in the next, uh, yes, here, yes, I understood that, I understood that, but I like very much this, and very much. Much of computational uh, people like, like this diagram. Yeah, but they are not a computational people, I am uh, an engineer. <laughs> <coughs> People who, who don't, don't like uh, such programs as uh, Athena and, and, and the I don't like programs. I have my own. Computer. Okay, the, these <laughs> diagrams allow applications in all uh, of uh, uh, finite elements. Yeah, but the problem, uh, but the problem, for example, we have a model of this type of uh, tension stiffening traditionally in our model code. Mm -hmm. We had a, a, a model. And the model was uh, like uh, Alejandro is, uh, yes. is uh, yes. showing here at the beginning. Uh, the model was uh, like this. Uh, yes, or yes. something like that. But now the model in, in 90 uh, was like this. Uh, do you remember? This was a uh, model code, model code uh, 70 or uh, 78. 78. 78, yes. And this one was model code 90. Mm -hmm. And now I don't know which will be, uh, I don't know which. Constant. It's constant, like this. Yes. Like this. Especially in negative zones, in which uh, the cracks are inclined, 
Yeah. And also the the the, 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 the equilibrium is not in a vertical section, it's in an inclined yes. section. It's very easy. It's I, 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 I agree with you, but if we, for instance, try to use uh, field element modeling, uh, but we are engineers. I don't want to use any model. We are engineers. We need to design bridges every day. Every day. And for me, it's not very important to know if we are 100% correct, because you will never be 100% correct. So for me, it's not very important. I, I would. Yo, yo creo que nosotros tenemos que usar. Nosotros tenemos que usar esta ley de armas y comparar con estos diagramas el, el, el... No, comparar con estos diagramas lo que sale de la vida de Alejandro. We can make it. Because I am an engineer. I am professor at the university, but at the same time, as according to the tradition of this school, all the professors were wood designers. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I, uh, we are studying together with him uh, the effect of the uh, imposed deformation in very long uh, concrete structures. And, and we made a long investigation without taking into account uh, tension and stiffening. Mm -hmm. And we are a little bit on the unsafe uh, uh, side with our uh, results. And now we want to check if the uh, tension and stiffening mm -hmm. is important or not mm -hmm. uh, to modify our previous result. This is our goal. And the first step uh, will be to get the, to, to use the, some of the results made by him mm -hmm. and to, because we have a moment curvature, uh, we could produce, we could produce a moment curvature diagram mm -hmm. because we